Grace Hightower De Niro, the philanthropist and wife of legendary actor and entrepreneur Robert De Niro, is making a name for herself as an entrepreneur. She recently launched Grace Hightower and Coffees of Rwanda. And now, 20 years after the genocide in Rwanda, and after hearing the country's president deliver a speech promoting his Trade Not Aid platform, she started a for-profit company to support the coffee farmers there. She talked to me about her journey. When people think of Rwanda, they're thinking mainly of just philanthropic straight, but yours is conscious capitalism. Yes, it is. <laughs> conscious capitalism, yeah. I like that. Yes, it is. And I, I intended for the model to be that way because of the philosophy. I, I, I shouldn't say the philosophy, but what President Kagame had spoken about, we want trade, not aid, and that resonated with me and inspired me to um, create the company because I love the fact that you are helping the farmers to have a sustainable business and at the same time leaving them in, you know, with their integrity. So it really resonated with me. Right, and it's an ongoing cycle that continues once you empower them. Yes. To do it themselves. Yes, yes. And it continues, you know, you, you, uh, you, you know, once they, once they um, have their business sustained, then they are, they are really thriving to create even better quality coffee. So, you know, the ceiling begins to really raise to an, an infinite level, which is really wonderful. And this is some of the best coffee in the world you can find in Rwanda. Why is that? Well, um, first of all, coffee originated in Africa, which is something I didn't know until I, you know, became, uh, came involved in the business. And um, in Rwanda especially, you have the volcanic soil, which is really rich. You have the high elevation, which is exactly the proper elevation for the growing of coffee. And one of the things that you have in Rwanda that, you, that is not in other countries, for example, like South America, you can sometimes get a drought because of mm. the, um, the climate. The climate in Rwanda is really usually quite mild year-round there's never that extreme fluctuation. It's warm, it's breezy, it's humid, so it's the perfect place to grow coffee. And you actually grew up on a farm. I did. In Mississippi, in Kill Michael, Mississippi. Absolutely, yes. Did you know when you were young that you would end up back in the farming business? <laughs> no, as a matter of fact, that was the last place I ever thought I would ever want to be is in the farming business. Why? Um, I think because I grew up on a farm, I wanted to experience something else. And it's funny that you say that because um, I went, when I first went to Rwanda, and I never forget, we got up that morning, we were going to visit some of the farms. And as we were riding down the road, oh my God, it just brought back memories. It awakened that little girl in me and how I grew up and the farms and, uh, and how important it was I mean, I've been conscious of eating really wonderful, natural, organic foods uh, all my life, but it really just brought back such amazing memories. And there was that connection, that really deep soul connection there for me. And even more, you know, it even enhanced my desire to create the business.